I'm Will Stone, I'm a poet and translator, literary translator from French and German and I'm also an essayist. I probably started writing poems around the mid-90s and uh, translation after 1999 when I finished an MA in literary translation at UEA, University of East Anglia in England. So, and then probably started writing essays in the last 10 years and reviews as well for various publications. I would describe my poetry as an attempt to respond to the situation we find ourselves in in 2016 in terms of Europe, you know, the environment, the general challenges facing society. But I also am drawn to nature and uh, history and so all that goes into it as well you know re responding to my time which is apparently what poets are supposed to do yes i'm working on a book uh, it's a labor of love it may never be finished you know it will be finished but it's taken me a long time longer than i thought but i'm amassing lots of information about different aspects of belgian culture and history and landscape that are overlooked I think in England, in the UK, and I'm trying to sh show a picture of Belgium that's different from the cliché, stereotype view of Belgium, which tends to be, you know, Flemish primitives, beer, chocolate shops, uh, Brussels, surrealism, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to find other aspects that have been overlooked. Uh, I feel there's a Belgian black hole at the moment, but it's a series of essays but, I'm, but it, it, it started as a series of essays, but I think it's going to become more, more like um, chapters and a, a personal journey for me into but, you know, what, I, what, what it is about Belgium that attracts me, really. Um, but I'm going to bring in other writers from the past, such as Stefan Zweig and, uh, and also the poets I've translated. Stefan Zweig uh, is important to me because I feel... Uh, it, it, he, he, he has some message to give us in this particular period of time. He seems to have appeared or, or resurrected at the right moment. And um, I think that his writings on Europe particularly have a great resonance with our current situation. Um, obviously, you know, circumstances are slightly different, but there are overlaps. The other, the other th reason he's important to me is for his contacts and his friendships with other writers that I'm interested in. So, for example, Rainer Maria Rilke or Romain Roland or Emile Verhagen, all these people were very close and there was a sense of a community of, of, uh, of, of writers in that period and I'm, and I'm interested in, in that concept as well. Well, what attracts me about Belgium, I think, is the mixture of influences that come into it from you know, Germany, Holland, France, and even England, and the fact that it traditionally was seen as a crossroads of culture. And also, I like, I, I think I'm a man of the North rather than the, the South, so it appealed to me. I find the people more, slightly more open than the French. I like the atmosphere in uh, the towns, such as Brussels and Ghent and Antwerp, the way of life, the cafes. Um, so lots of things really, just feel, I feel more at home here. Yeah.